Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel, my name is Maika, welcome to Floating in Dreams. This is my hobby YouTube channel and I like to talk about makeup on here as well as a little bit of fashion at times. Today we are doing a Essence lipstick video. If you saw my Essence First Impressions, Im uh, Impressions video in August, you may have expected me to do this video because I, try I bought a lot of new Essence lipsticks and we're gonna try all of these on my lips in today's video. Now you should know that I tend to be quite long-winded. I really go into colors and undertones and whether I think something is flattering on me or not. So if you don't want to see all that and you just want to see what these lipsticks look like on, I would like to refer you to my blog because the day this video goes live there will be an accompanying blog post where I have all the pictures of swatches, of what these look like on my lips, etc. So if you want to see close-ups as well, so if you really want to see how these sit on the lips, for instance, I always do like a close-up and a full face uh, when I do these blog posts. So that's going to sort of work in tandem with this, uh, with this video. So if you don't have time to watch this right now and you just want to see the shades, and I'll make sure to link that blog post down below, of course, so you have very quick access to that and you can just scroll through and it will literally take you seconds. Um, but if you're here for the long haul and you want to know about undertones and why I think certain things are flattering on me, yes or no, if you want the full lowdown and you want a full review of each shade in the new Essence Hydrating Nude Lipstick line and the Cool Collagen line, then stay tuned and I'm also going to be updating you on my experience with the new, uh, what are these called again? The soft and precise lip pencils. So that's what I have for you in this video right now. Let's get started. So this is going to be a bit, bit of a mishmash of a video because I've got lip liners, then I've got three lipsticks in the hydrating line and I've got uh, five lipsticks in the cool collagen line. So we're gonna do it in that order, lip liners, hydrating, cool collagen. Uh, and we're going to end on that note. And uh, my eye look came out a little bit deeper <laughs> than I had expected. I thought this was going to be a little bit more neutral, but it, it ended up being a very nice sort of plummy kind of look. And this is the palette that I used to did that look. So this is the I Like to Move It, Move It, which is an eyeshadow palette that Essence launched together with these new lipsticks. I believe these are also out in the US already if you want to uh, snatch up these little new eyeshadow palettes and I believe actually in the States you get two shades we don't get. <laughs> so yeah that's that's what's on my eyes. I'm also trying a new foundation so we're doing a whole nine thing but the foundation isn't even essence so we're not gonna go there but I'll also make sure that uh, everything that I have on my face that is not essence that that's also in this description box and also if you would ever would want to know what top I'm wearing and where that's from that's also always in the description box. Now that we have all of the announcements out of the way, let's get to these lip products. And we're gonna start off with the soft and precise lip pencils, as I mentioned. And I will have swatches of these in that blog post as well, but I'm not gonna be putting these on for you because I found, as I was doing the swatches for these, that I don't like these. Not because they don't, they're not bad products, not at all. Um, but the thing is with lip, me and lip liners, and this sort of reminded me why I never wear lip liners, it's just not a product that I can use and that I really feel adds something to my makeup. I went for these, uh, I think the entire line is quite neutral, and I don't like to use a lip liner with a lipstick. Like, I just don't. Um, I would never color in my lips like this, because I am wearing two of these at the moment. Uh, but these are sharpened... Um, like lip liners you need to sharpen and I have to say that with these kind of pencils I just have a little too much lip <laughs> space to really be using these. It takes me a good five minutes to get these on and it, it's just, these just don't work for me. They are nice and creamy for a lip liner, I find them pretty hydrating but the shades in this just didn't really do much for me. They were all a little bit too light, I felt, so they were a little bit off. And that's why I'm wearing two of these, so that you do have an idea of what these can do. I actually went in first with 203 My Advice. Um, there is one of the lipsticks today as well that is also that shade. But if you look at the pencil, doesn't it look like this is going to be like a nice, like, mauve nude? And on me, it just pulls up straight orangey peach. So for me, 
the way this looks and swatches and the way it then looks on my on my face is just the complete opposite of what I would expect. And this is actually a little too light for me. This is shade uh, 302 Heavenly, but I did put that in the center of my lip to tone down the orangeness of this one, just to make it a little bit more wearable because it was looking really crazy with this like very soft, uh, like cool tone purpley eye. And that very peachy lipstick just didn't really go. So if I swatch these on the back of my hand, I'm not sure if you can see this very well, maybe a little too far away, but like I said, full swatches are in that in that blog post. Um, so I've swatched, um, which one did I swatch first? So 302 Heavenly, then 303 Delicate, th 202 My Mind, and 203 My Advice. And I have to say that the ones I'm not wearing, which are Delicate and My Mind, are far too pink for my liking. They're very much like that Barbie pink kind of vibe. So the two that are my favorite are Heavenly and My Advice. But where my advice on the back of my hand, I look at this, I'm like, oh, that's a really nice, like, mauve nude kind of shade. And then on my lips, it just pulls a straight up, really weird, peachy shade. And for me, these just weren't perfect. But you can see that these look okay on. They are nice and hydrating. I do like to apply these lip liners while I'm still wearing a little bit of a lip balm, just to give them a little bit more slip and make it easier to apply. But that's why I'm not going to be swatching these out for you on my lips because just it, it it's just not a product I can get down with. And for me, lipsticks is where it's at. So if you were interested in these, these are usable. They are very easy to use because they do have a nice creamy texture. But unless you are someone who likes to line their lips, I would not recommend these because the colors are way off. So that's why I I would I would not recommend these. So now we're gonna start with the Hydrating Nude line. And this line only comes with three shades. We've got 301 Romantic. We have 302 Heavenly. So there we go again with some of the names in that lip liner line. And this is 303 Delicate. So I feel like they had, they did try to sort of make sure that these mix and match. Um, but this one, 301, what's it called again? Romantic. This is not a romantic shade. I remember putting this on for the, t the pictures I took and I was not pleased, I can tell you that. It's a very hydrating formula, which is really nice. I have found in the past that Essence lipsticks can actually be quite drying. None of the lipsticks I'm trying for you today are that drying that I expect, uh, um, that I remember Essence lipsticks to do. But this sort of like really light brown tone nude it, it just doesn't go with my coloring at all, as you will see in a minute. My lips are too pigmented to be able to pull this off. And I actually have that experience with a lot of these lipsticks in the line that because they are such a hydrating formula, they are a little on the sheer side. And I feel that with my pigmented lips, my natural lip, lip color just comes through them too quickly. And that that is just not that flattering. Let me show you what this looks like on. I've zoomed you in just a little bit, so hopefully you can see better. But this is just ghostly pale dead lips on me. Like this shade, Romantic, and these have a quite a strong vanilla cookie kind of scent. Not my favorite as well. I don't like these overly scented makeup things. And like with the Catrice, if you saw my Catrice Vegan Collagen Matte video, then you might remember that Catrice did it as well. That They put the sticker over the closure. Um, making these impossible to, to open. Um, so I wish they put the sticker up a little further up. That way you can actually open it. However, if you were to find these in store, that does mean that you get a new one if the sticker is still sealed. Um, but yeah, this lipstick is, is all kinds of wrong on me. It just, it doesn't have the right kind of payoff. My natural lip color comes through and I'm not sure if you can see but I get this really weird pinky red ring around my mouth because the lipstick is just such a clash with my natural lip color. And I have that a lot with very pale nude lipsticks. But because I'm so pale, um, it kind of just makes me look very dead. And it just, it looks almost a little gray on me. It just, it just pulls into a completely wrong, wrong side for me. Like this is just not my vibe. So for me, Hydrating Nude 301 Romantic 
is an instant declutter because this, and I'm not sure who this would be flattering on. Unless you like really pale nudes, stay away. We're getting to the territory of the shades that I did kind of like. So 302 Heavenly is already looking a little bit better, but I don't know why. In the lip liner, it looks like a, yeah, well, like a really light pinky nudie beige. And then in the lipstick, it looks quite peach. So I'm not sure how these would go together. <laughs> I really don't. Um, but if I swatch this, then you do see that it does have a little bit of pink in it. But it's still quite peachy for me. It's quite quite of a, like, more of a warmer pink. Whereas in the lip liner, it's much cooler. So I don't feel that the shades necessarily go with the lip liners either, which is another reason why these lip liners just... no. But let me show you Heavenly. So this is what Heavenly looks like, and I feel that this is a little bit more successful. It's just a touch too light for my lips for it to really do anything. It kind of just disappears on my lips. It's not even my lips, but better, I feel, because I still get this like darker ring around my mouth, so it is a little bit too light for me. It does have enough pink for it to be flattering on, but I also feel that if I just look in my mirror right here, mm, it could have gone with this eye look, but I feel it skews a little too warm toned, and I would have liked this better if it had a cooler, more plummy undertone, because those kind of like nudie pinks work a lot better on me. I think that if you have a warmer undertone and if your lips aren't naturally as pigmented as mine, that Heavenly can be a nice one. However, now that I'm putting two of these on back to back, the scent is just really, really starting to bother me. It's this very chemically sweet kind of scent. I I'm, I'm just not a fan. This is not my kind of lipstick in terms of scent, in terms of color. The texture is really nice, however, I have tried wearing the next shade that I'm going to be uh, showing you. I did wear this on a work day, and uh, even though they've got good payoff, so they're more, more pigmented than a lip balm would be, however, texture-wise, these are more like a lip balm than anything else, and that's how much lasting power they also have. So for me, this is the kind of lipstick you really need to uh, reapply almost every hour or two because they have no longevity whatsoever and they really do not stay put. And under masks, they kind of slide around everywhere as well. So for me, that's why they're not perfect. I like something to be long lasting where I can put it on in the morning and I can forget about it and not think about it for the rest of the day. And with these, you need to constantly reapply. They are very comfortable though. So if you like very comfortable lipsticks, then these are nice. But like I said, the scent, the colors not being just right, I don't think I would really recommend these. And we have Delicate Lift, which is 303, and this is the one I wore to work, and this is probably my favorite of the three, because it's the only one that doesn't give me that weird red ring around my mouth. Um, however, as dark as it looks in the tube, it really is only a hair darker than Heavily, so... Uh, again, quite a warm-toned, peachy pink shade. Like, I feel that it just kind of goes up in terms of depth, but in terms of undertone, we really don't get that much that, that much variation here. So again, for me, this wasn't perfect, but the only reason why I ended up liking this the most out of these three is that it's the only one that really flatters me, but it's still not my favorite lipstick shade. Again, it's a little too warm-toned. I find it not going really well with my complexion, and for me to be able to pull it off a shade like this, I need to wear just the right makeup. And I'm pretty sure that with what I'm wearing today, it's probably not going to go. And that's what Delicate looks like. You can see the shine on these really nicely now. So they're very hydrating, very shiny, very balmy texture. But that's pretty much the only thing that these have got going for them. As you can see, this is the only one that's deep enough for it to work on my lips. But the undertone is just way off. This is such a warm, peachy pink shade that this is just not my kind of lipstick shade. Again, if you have a warmer undertone, especially if you have more medium skin and your lips aren't too pigmented, I think this can be a nice shade. 
you're looking for something very hydrating because that's usually what that's truly what these are and I've now decided what I what I think this reminds me of this scent this scent that I keep thinking mm, no if you walk into the IKEA like decoration section so if you skip the sort of like display area and you just go straight into their basement where they have all of the like utensils and things like that that they're selling there's this very particular plasticky kind of scent that's what this reminds me of i'm not sure if you want your lips to smell like ikea but i don't so lovely lipstick when it comes to texture they did the, they did a really good job there but the shade range is very limiting Let, let's mention that the undertones of these lipsticks aren't quite right there's not enough depth, there isn't enough variation, and they are all essentially beigey pinks with a lot of warmth to them. That's pretty much all you're getting. So for me, this lipstick line, it has a lot of potential, but it's not perfect. So a little bit more perfect for me are the Cool Collagen Plumping Lipsticks. These come in five shades, and again, the shade range for me, it's not quite perfect. I'm holding 201 My Dream. This is probably the palest pink I have seen in a long while. Um, it, I'm not a huge, huge fan of pale pinks, um, but this, yeah, this, um, this is what that looks like. These are very sheer, and the name Cool Collagen is reflected in what these lipsticks do because when you put these on they have a cooling sensation on the lips and that's what I hate about these the most it's like you know if you have like certain lip plumpers that have a lot of mint in them you get this tingling feeling it's a bit like that but not but not as strong so I feel that there's probably this cooling sensation to reach that more plumping effect they are again very balm like very sort of shiny but not as shiny as these hydrating nude ones i have to say they're a bit more of a satin finish again not my favorite formula because of that cooling sensation on the lips so for me even though that only lasts a little while it just i don't know whether why they even put that in um, I don't really need it, and I think that if you have quite sensitive lips, whatever creates this cooling sensation could potentially be irritating for people with very sensitive skins as well. So I would stay away from these Are you, if you are sensitive to anything that's like cooling, mentally kind, because I think that that's actually what might be in these. And these had the same problem I had with the uh, nude where the sticker was covering the closure. So I took off all the stickers, so I can't even look up anymore what the ingredients are like. Two O One, my dream, is exactly the kind of shade that does absolutely nothing for me. This is the kind of lipstick where I'm like, yikes! This is very sort of 2010 me. I I used to love a couple of MAC lipstick shades that had sort of this vibe, but they had a little bit more pigment to them. This has a lot of white and blue running through, though. Mm. No, it, the only reason why this lipstick is still looking okay is because it's quite of a, like, quite a hydrating lipstick. That's what makes it look okay, but I don't know, it's too pale, it's too blue-toned, it's got too much white. Mm, no, just a big no. Then we have 202 My Mind, and again, I think I have one of the lip liners that's supposed to go with this, but as you will see in a minute, it looks nothing like the lip liner, because like in the Hydrating Nude, this is the previous shade, but then amped up a bit and made, made darker and more warm toned. It doesn't even look like what the, eye, what, what the lip liner does. Um, so again very very pink and very sheer and a little bit too light for me let me show you this one now because this is deeper i feel that 202 my mind works just a little bit better on me but again it's 
it's not perfect. This, I think, is the kind of pink that I would wear if I were to wear like a blue tone smoky eye. But then again, I tend to not wear these kind of pinks anymore. I just feel that they don't really go very well with my complexion. And here, yeah, there's a little bit more warmth in it, but on my lips, it still pulls quite cool toned. And that's probably because I've got quite a lot of purple to my lips quite naturally. And then when uh, lipsticks are sometimes a little on the sheer side, that plumminess in my lips can really come through and it can really alter what the lipstick looks like. So I, I'm predicting that especially this shade 202 My Mind, if your lips have a very different coloring to mine, this may look very different on you. So I think that this is one you could try. I don't hate this on me. It's just, again, I'm starting to feel that cooling sensation. And I actually had this also with a body wash from the body shop. They did a line last year that was limited edition for summer, which was like cool cucumber. And I had not taken into account that the cool in that name was actually like literally like a cooling sensation as you were using it. I didn't like that either. It wasn't that intense either, but it was with also with this. No. My favorite of this line is 203 My Advice. And where I was expecting the lip liner to this to be like a nice like darker like nudie shade, this in the lipstick actually does look the way it, go it looks in the bullet. So I, I wasn't too mad about this and this. This is my kind of nude. If you know anything about me, then you might remember that I really loved the Catrice Power Plumping Gel Lipstick in Speak Up 030. And this shade really reminds me of that, but then with a little bit more pigmentation to it. And as you can see, it's also as if this has more pigmentation. It's not as sheer as the first two. So I'm a little confused. I did wear this shade again to a full workday. And these have a little bit longer lasting uh, uh, texture in the formula. The hydrating nudes only last for about an hour or two. And I feel that these, maybe two to three, possibly four hours if you're careful, uh, but they really don't last a meal. And if you're talking and drinking, I'm a teacher, so I talk a lot when I work. Um, there, there just isn't that much uh, staying power in these lipstick either. They're nice though. I think I had to reapply these like once throughout the day for them to show up again. So this is my favorite shade in this line because I feel it's the most flattering and it goes best with my coloring. This is that sort of my lips but better kind of shade. So this is what my advice looks like. And as you can see, it's really pretty on. It just, it works really well with my complexion. It has the right undertone. It's got a little bit of pink, a little bit of peach, a little bit of mauve. Like it's got the right blend. And if this didn't have that very cooling sensation at the start when you first put this on, I would actually consider keeping this around. But because I don't like that cooling sensation, and again, these have that same sort of weird plasticky cookie kind of scent that the other ones have. No can do. It's just a really big deal breaker for me. And I know what I like when it comes to lipsticks and I've got my favorites and I'm trying these out to tell you guys about this new line. This is how I feel about it. This is the first sh shade in this entire range that they're doing that I'm really feeling on myself, that I like, that I think is flattering that I could wear very easily on an everyday, day-to-day -day basis. This is the kind of shade that I really feel goes with so many different things. It's just that, that cooling sensation and the scent. No. And then this line does go a little bit deeper and also a little bit more vibrant. In 204, my way, we get something that's almost like a little bit of like a reddish tone nude, if you'd like. It's, it's a, bit, a bit more brown even, perhaps, but as you can see, um, again, it's like a really nice gradient, <laughs> as you can see. Um, and I do like lipsticks like this when it's like a nude but red leaning, because I love red lipstick on myself, but I don't always want a full-on vibrant red lip. And then something like this, especially if it's a very hydrating formula, can work really well. So this would be my other favorite shade here. But like with 203, my advice, this, I just don't like these lipsticks, which is why I'm not going to keep these around. 
And there you have a 204 My Way. That's what this shade is called. I'm not sure if I already mentioned that. But 204 My Way is quite, like, it looks quite nice on me. But where it looks a little reddish toned in, like, the bullet and also on the back of my hand when I swatch it, on my lips, again, it pulls a little bit more pink than I would want. However, this is still a very wearable shade. I think it's very pretty for the fall time. It sort of has that, like, warmish rosy pink that can be very very stunning if you wear very warm toned eye looks. I think that if you have a warm undertone this can be your pick and if you have a cooler undertone then 203 my advice might be better for you. So I do still like this. I have a neutral undertone myself so I can sort of get away with both. I do really think this is pretty on but I don't think it's my absolute favorite. And then we have a red and not just any red. This is 205 my love. It's an... Hmm, if I look at this in the bullet, it reminds me a lot of Max Chili, so I would say like a brownish toned red with a bit of yellow running through it. So it's a very warm toned red that's brown leaning, which is perfect for the fall time. Like this color screams fall to me, and it's really, really stunning on. It's just... Do you want a red lipstick in a slippy, sliding, hydrating kind of formula? That's the question really here. But this is lovely. It's a really nice red. It looks really good on. it Because it has a bit of shine, it makes your lips look really healthy. Uh, I think that this is the kind of lipstick that if you just like dab it on, I, I might just do that for you in a minute before I apply it like full on to show you that you can dab this on and get the sort of like that just been bitten look kind of thing. Uh, so you can sort of use this as a stain, but because this has no lasting power, I would personally not opt for this kind of lipstick in this kind of formula. It's just not my vibe. So if you just sort of blot it in, so if you just tap it onto your lips, because this is such a creamy formula, it will transfer, and then dab it on with your lips, and then what you could also do is to blot it down, and then you just get this really nice, like, fresh, just, like, just bitten kind of lip look. Um, so this can be really pretty and if you don't want to go for a red that is this full on This is a great way that if a lipstick color intimidates you if you just want to get used to seeing it on yourself This is a really good easy step to make a lot of bright dark vampy lip colors more wearable If they make you nervous, so I would definitely sort of like go for something like this But if you want the full jam, then this is what it would look like Now, because this is so slippy slidey, I'm really struggling to get this on in like a nicely precise way. And where it looks quite dark in the bullet and quite brown, I feel that once you put it on the lips, it has a lot of vibrancy to it that you may not expect at first glance. So for me, this is a really nice, like warm, orange tone leaning red that is perfect for the fall season. I really, really like this. It's making me want to bust out some of my very vibrant orangey reds. Max Lady Danger, anyone? I think it's actually like less, like it's more of a muted version of Max Lady Danger if you're familiar with that shade. But yeah, this is red lipsticks. I just love, um, it's just that in this really creamy formula, it's going to get all over your teeth. If you're wearing this with a mask, it's going to transfer everywhere. But it's a pretty lipstick shade and we all know how I feel about reds. I love a good red. I just do. So there you have it. Those are all of the new Essence products. So we've got some lip liners. We've got those hydrating nudes right there. And these are the new cool collagen lipsticks. And of the entire lineup, I really only like the last three shades of the cool collagen lineup. But I'm not a fan of the scent. I'm not a fan of the cooling sensation that these give. So for me, the line as a whole, because it has these properties, just isn't perfect. These could have been really nice lipsticks if they didn't have that. I definitely don't think they are bad lipsticks, not at all. They have really nice, rich, creamy textures. And if you're someone who doesn't mind reapplying lipstick throughout the day, and you're just looking for a very balmy, 
hydrating lipstick because these feel really nice on the lips. These are really not going to dry out your lips at all. Then these lipsticks are really nice. The lip liners for me are the biggest dud because I was just expecting these shades to show up completely different. Uh, completely differently and if you saw this line and you heard some of these lipstick names and you were looking into these and you were thinking oh these lip liners can go with these lipsticks not even that go has they have going for them so for me these were just really confusing when I was trying these I just I didn't fall in love with these you guys and sometimes I need to come on here and just also let you know when products don't work for me I hope that that's also why you're watching my videos and these just weren't successful, mainly because of the scent, because of a cooling sensation, and because undertones of these lipsticks just didn't look right for, like, on my complexion. So these have a lot of potential in them. I think that if you find a shade that is right for you, and if you do like these textures, and you don't mind scents, then I'm pretty sure you're gonna like these. But if you are like me and you don't like scents in your lipsticks, you don't like these like gimmicky cooling sensations, and if you want undertones that just work, then maybe don't go into these new Essence lines because I don't think they're gonna cater to a lot of different people, that's for sure. And I would definitely recommend, if you can, to look these up in store if you're interested and swatch them and just know that the way they swatch on the back of your hand and the way they go onto your lips may be two completely different things. Oh well. So yeah, I hope I didn't get too rambly in this one. If you're still here and you stuck around to watch the entire video, then I'm pretty, uh, I'm really happy that you stayed. So please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you very much, so, so much for watching this video today. I hope you have a great day. If you want to stick around and see more videos by me, then make sure you subscribe because I make three videos a week. So I hope to see you in my next one. Take care, everybody. Have a good day. Bye-bye.